Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Metronic. In this video, we will discuss on Metronic's latest version 7.0.1 and how you can install it using Webpack with the latest update. So if you haven't seen our GUP installation yet, I will highly suggest that you guys do that. So link will be in the description below to look at our GUP installation. The reason why you need to look at that is because of the prerequisites to start building um, the Webpack version. So all the steps is similar with the GUP version, except when we start running GUP. So in this video, we'll be talking about how you can install Webpack or install Metronic via Webpack uh, after you have run or ran Yarn. So let's go back into our folder. So if you go to our Metronic folder, we go to our theme, we go to our HTML, which is our new default. Um, folder. We go to our tools. Um, in here, uh, our shared tools folder, we just type in cmd to open up uh, the command prompt. Now, all the steps that you need to, to get here, you can find it within our docs and webpack. And in here, you need to again install, uh, first thing you get Metronic, install your node, um, install npm, install yarn, and then run yarn. Now, after running yarn, we just need to run this command. So to do that, uh, let's double check if we ran yarn already. So if you basically run yarn again, if everything's up to date, it will just say everything's up to date and you're good to go to start installing uh, uh, the, the, uh, the Metronix dependencies using Webpack. So let's type in npm yarn, uh, npm run build dash dash demo and then the demo number. So if you want a demo 2 or demo 3, just type in demo 2 or 3 and so on. So in this example, we'll be doing demo 1. Let's go ahead and install that. All right, so now we need to still start off our, start up our local host. To do that, just type in npm run localhost dash dash the demo number. In this case, we are running demo one because we just compiled a built in demo one. So once it's done, our local host will appear and um, Webpack has done building. So you will land on this page first. All you have to do is just click on the dist folder and there you have Metronic working using Webpack. So in here, you're free to browse. You can go to like our wizards, let's check out our wizards. Check out our, our other um, examples of demos, like our inputs and whatnot. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, the next video we'll talk we'll talk about is our um, configuration or customization um, tutorial, and we will go through basically the, the uh, similar things as what we did in the previous videos, where we will go through both GUP and Webpack customization on how you can customize. Um, your SAS, your JS, and um, importing or exporting certain plugins within Metronic, and um, customizing the the destination paths for your assets to be deployed to, either through to um, Metronic's default uh, folders or into your project folders. So that would be our next video. So keep an eye on that. Uh, so uh, please. Subscribe to our YouTube channel so that um, when we release our next video, you'll be the first to know. And follow us on our social media, like our Twitter and Facebook. Links will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.